Welcome to today's video. Before we begin, let me ask you a question. What do you think about the presence of humans in the Alpha Centauri star system? Sounds strange, doesn't it? But if you learn about the star system closest to our solar system, you'll realize that question isn't so absurd. Alpha Centauri isn't just a bright spot in the sky, it's a potential destination for humanity's dreams of exploring the universe. Let's embark on a journey to find the answer to this question together. Of course, this isn't a task for just one person, but a collective effort of all humanity. But when will this dream come true? And what will we send there first, the pioneering humans or just intelligent exploratory machines? Before answering these questions, let's analyze the current situation. I believe you'll find this more interesting than you think. As you might already know, Alpha Centauri is a three-star system consisting of Alpha Centauri A, Rigel Centaurus, Alpha Centauri B, Ptolemon, and Alpha Centauri C, Proxima Centauri. While Alpha Centauri A and B form a binary pair of sun-like stars orbiting their common center of gravity, Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf, orbits these two stars at a distance of about 0.2 light-years. Notably, Proxima Centauri hosts a planet called Proxima b, which orbits its parent star at a distance of just 0.049 astronomical units, more than 20 times closer than the Earth is to the Sun, yet still within the habitable zone. At only 4.2 light-years from Earth, approximately 40 trillion kilometers, Proxima Centauri is the closest star to the solar system, while Proxima b is the nearest discovered exoplanet. This makes it an ideal target for a potential interstellar mission, especially as it ranks high on the list of planets with a high Earth Similarity Index. Before the discovery of Proxima b in 2016, the idea of exploring Alpha Centauri was vague and highly ambitious. But the appearance of this planet has given humanity a clear goal, an opportunity to turn the dream of reaching a second Earth into reality. However, reaching Proxima b is no easy task. The distance to Proxima Centauri is 266,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun, and over 103 million times the distance to the Moon. It's a terrifying abyss in terms of both time and space. Imagine this. Light, traveling at the maximum speed allowed by the laws of physics, takes 4.3 years to travel from Proxima to Earth. Meanwhile, light from the Sun takes just over 8 minutes. These numbers vividly highlight the challenges of interstellar travel, a seemingly insurmountable hurdle with current technology. Is there any hope for us? Let's consider Voyager 1, the fastest spacecraft ever built. Traveling at a speed of 61,000 km per hour, it would take approximately 75,000 years to reach Proxima Centauri. Even the Parker Solar Probe, the fastest spacecraft today, traveling at 700,000 km per hour, would need over 6,500 years to complete the journey. Clearly, traditional chemical fuel engines, even when assisted by gravitational slingshots from planets like Jupiter and Saturn, are entirely inadequate for interstellar missions. That is why a technological breakthrough is essential. Ambitious ideas have been proposed, ranging from nuclear fission engines, nuclear fusion, the use of energy from antimatter annihilation, and even enormous light sails. However, these technologies remain theoretical and require decades of research and enormous financial efforts to become a reality. Looking further ahead, science fiction solutions such as warp drives or wormholes, based on Einstein's theory of general relativity, have also been mentioned. However, these are still only hypotheses, with no concrete evidence to confirm their feasibility in practical application. In addition to the technological challenges mentioned above, we also face physical limitations. Einstein, in his special theory of relativity, demonstrated that no object with mass can exceed the speed of light. As an object accelerates, the energy imparted to it not only increases its speed but also proportionally increases its mass. The closer the object gets to the speed of light, the greater its mass becomes, making further acceleration increasingly difficult. In fact, at 99.9% .9 of the speed of light, the mass of an 80-kilogram person would increase to 2 tons. This makes surpassing the light barrier an impossible task. Any effort to add more thrust would only exponentially increase the object's mass, while its actual speed would remain nearly unchanged. 
even if we possessed a miraculous technology capable of instantly propelling a spacecraft to the speed of light, it would still take 4.3 years to reach Proxima Centauri. This means that even at the maximum velocity possible in the universe, humanity could only explore the vicinity of the Sun and would not be able to create a network of transport routes spanning the Milky Way. But has everything truly come to an end here? Perhaps we are missing an important factor? Indeed, because mass is not the only factor that changes as speed increases. Another remarkable phenomenon in relativistic space travel is time dilation. Contrary to classical physics, time does not flow uniformly for all observers. Instead, time slows down for a person approaching the speed of light. You might think this is truly absurd. But no, this fact has been fully verified and brings about rather interesting results. Let me provide a typical example. On a spacecraft traveling close to the speed of light, time passes much more slowly compared to time on Earth. Imagine a spacecraft traveling at 95% of the speed of light to a planet 9.5 light years away. To a stationary observer on Earth, this journey would take 10 years. However, for the crew aboard the spacecraft, time would pass much more slowly, and they would perceive the journey as lasting only 3.12 years. And if the speed reached 99% of the speed of light, time aboard the spacecraft would slow down by a factor of 7. At 99.99% of the speed of light, this factor increases to 70 times. And at 99.999% of the speed of light, time aboard the spacecraft nearly stops, with every second onboard equivalent to years on Earth. Amazing, isn't it? This phenomenon sparks hope for the possibility of traveling vast distances within our galaxy. Let me provide another example. The journey from Earth to the Andromeda Galaxy, located 2.5 million light years away, could be completed in just over 11 years, as perceived by the crew, if traveling at 99.999% of the speed of light. Sounds like a science fiction scenario straight out of Star Trek, doesn't it? However, we must also remember that time dilation does not solve all the problems. To reach speeds close to that of light, we would require nearly infinite energy, something far beyond our current technological capabilities. Moreover, traveling at such speeds places the spacecraft in an extremely dangerous environment. Space, which seems like a vacuum, is actually filled with particles and atoms, and even the smallest collisions at such high speeds could result in catastrophic consequences. With all these challenges, traveling to Proxima Centauri not only demands scientific breakthroughs, but also extraordinary innovations in technology and how we approach the universe. I firmly believe that one day, humanity will overcome these barriers and truly reach the stars. But for now, the dream remains distant and out of our grasp. From the outset, missions to other stars will undoubtedly not carry humans, but intelligent robotic probes. Yet it is worth noting that miniaturizing these probes would far exceed the limits of today's technology. Once we master the technology for their creation, these probes, capable of traveling at speeds of 0.1c, will surely pave the way for humanity to move beyond our solar system. Let's also reflect on the tremendous advancements in biotechnology, genetic engineering, embryonic development, and cellular physiology. It's conceivable that humanity could go beyond simply launching robotic probes. As physicist Frank J. Tipler once suggested, and as vividly illustrated by Arthur C. Clarke in his novel The Songs of Distant Earth, humanity could spread throughout the galaxy using technologies that recreate life at its destination. This idea is not without merit. One promising idea for propelling interstellar probes involves using light sails, such as the Starwisp concept. Instead of carrying heavy engines, these light sails harness radiation pressure from concentrated laser or microwave beams to propel spacecraft through space. This approach not only minimizes the spacecraft's mass, but also eliminates the heat problem generated by engines. The structure of this system consists of three main components, a powerful laser or microwave emitter placed in space, a massive lens to focus the radiation into a highly concentrated beam even at great distances, and finally, an ultralight interstellar sail. It is truly astonishing that such a sail, with a diameter of up to 6 kilometers yet weighing only 30 grams, 
could be accelerated to 0.2 set in just two weeks. Do the math. At this speed, could StarWisp reach Alpha Centauri in just 21 years? Although much of what we have envisioned cannot yet compare to the fictional scenarios of Star Trek, the launch of the first interstellar probes will be a pivotal moment in human history. Perhaps the youngest among us today will witness this event. It will not only be a scientific milestone, but also a symbol of humanity's boundless ambition. Savor that moment, for it will mark the beginning of a new chapter in humanity's journey to explore the universe. What about you? How do you feel about this journey? Share your thoughts in the comments section below so we can discuss together. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It gives me even more motivation. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.